YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video guys. It is the first video upload here on All About TKK of 2024 and I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Hopefully your holidays were great and I hope that you are in the best place in life that you can be in. Um, today guys I wanted to talk to you about the news that dropped for the LG OLEDs 2024 models. There has been a nice bit of discussion for these televisions around the internet. We're going to shoot this in podcast style here on the desk. And uh, I just want to make sure I get this content out here. Now, before we get into talking about my opinion on the TV lineup so far, I do want to make it known, if you did not know, um, I will be in attendance of CES 2024. That's going to be just in a few days. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be my first time. And we will be shooting some content, getting it rolling over the next couple of days and uploaded for the channel. I'm going to be doing kind of like a get ready with me type of deal, kind of just vlogging with my experience, getting ready for the event. Um, I do expect to shoot content regularly while I'm there, but I am really excited about that. I got to say thank you for all of you that have supported the channel over the last two years for us making content and um, we're just going to keep it going. OK, uh, what I want to do is I want to take a little bit of time, pull up a chart and uh discuss some of the information that has been cascaded around the internet across the 2024 LG models. All right, guys, so I just want to take to this website. Let me give credit where it's due. This is from flatpanelshd.com. Um, I didn't want to B-roll anything or try to splice any other YouTubers content to put it on my video just to show respects. Um, so they got a pretty... Um, comprehensive chart and, and, and letterhead here for us to be able to uh, discuss. The article reads, LG unveils 2024 OLED TVs B4, C4, G4, and M4, MLA in 83 inch. That's going to be specific to the G4 and the M4. Um, they say Chromecast is built in, which is pretty interesting uh, to me. I don't know if that's been something, um, you know, posted in these TVs prior, I don't know, I'd have to go back. I don't have a 23 uh, LG, I did have the G3, but I got rid of that and picked up the 77 G2, and I did buy a uh, 55 inch C2, two of them to be a specific, but uh, I digress, I don't think Chromecast is a part of that, I could be wrong. But also notate to 144 hertz, which is pretty interesting. There have been uh, many of people um, talking about this. So um, this this is a very interesting thing. And I want to get in the totality of what all this is, because this is there's some good information here. Um, and I think there's some missed points uh, that some people may be um, looking into. Um, this is a pretty decorated lineup, in my personal opinion, honestly. Um, so like, let's just take a look at this. Ahead of CES 24 next week, LG has unveiled its OLED TV lineup with MLA still reserved for G4 and M4, but now up to 83 inches, which is pretty awesome. Um, when we dissect the 23 models, you know, you bought an 83 inch G3, you got no MLA. So you pretty much got basically a G2, but just a little bit brighter. And, you know, they they tone some other things up. There wasn't enough there to make a person who's like me, I, even though I never bought an 83 inch TV. Um, I got no no room, no desire for that right now in my life. But the way that I buy like 65 inches, 77 inches there, I say, um, you know, if I had bought the uh, G2, uh, going into the G3 in that class specifically just wasn't that uh, last year was definitely one to show us that 77 inch is reserved for the pinnacle. Um, and so this kind of segregates that. And this is a good thing. This is a really good thing. I think this is very strategic by LG. You get an 83 inch. Uh, there has yet to be any discussion at all for. Um, Samsung displays producing an 83 inch. I'm pretty sure I've seen some of the uh, larger outlets post that they said that they may not be doing an 83 inch in the QD OLED, which is pretty fine for me because listen, I can't I, I can't afford an 83 right now. I'm not looking forward to it. But I think this is really good. This this as I said, get some segregation with the 83 inch. Um, it's no longer just a white OLED panel. It is now actually going to be, you know, something with MLA. So I'm pretty excited for that. And plus the 144 Hertz is really awesome for PC gaming. Um, gets LG back in that 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 discussion of how fluidity uh, works. Um, but let's take a look. Just scrolling down at the um, 
the chart that they've got right here. And this is where it gets really good, in my opinion, okay? So the B4 typically is gonna only have two HDMI 2.1 ports, man. It actually has four ports, and for the very first time, it's being announced in a 48 inch. This is really good information, honestly. So for those of you that might be interested in buying the most affordable white OLED that is going to uh, be in the smallest size, well, not in the 42 inch, but in a 48 inch size, it's a pretty damn good option, man. 48 inch is a nice size TV. Um, and having the, the, the Alpha 8 processor, I think is gonna be good enough. Um, not the best, certainly. They've they've made some 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 segregation also going from the C to the G. We'll talk about that in just a second. But pretty awesome there. You do get 120 hertz there, which the uh, B models were 120 hertz. The only the, the opportunity was just that they always had the older processor, which still stands the same now. They got the Chromecast built in. Uh, you can see that, and then again it comes in the different sizes, the 48 to 77. So it's now that that real. It's a budget contender, definitely is something you have to consider. But the problem with the B4 is it's got to be priced right because Samsung, um, you know, having their flagship plus their secondary lineup of Gen 2 QD OLEDs, you know, obviously we know there's going to be an S90D or something like that. It's going to be Gen 2 and 77 inch at least, probably going to filter through 65s and 55s being Gen 2 panels also going to be extremely hard for a B4 to be the 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 pick of the litter there. But that 48 inch, I think, is really awesome. So let's skip on over to the C4. We got timestamps, by the way, if you haven't already seen. C4 is looking pretty interesting, but it's also a little bit of a disappointment. I personally felt like the move for the C4 would have been to get it some type of uh, micro lens array technology. Uh, even if it was like whatever that was a Gen 1, you know, maybe doing something kind of like Samsung displays with them making a Gen 1 QD OLED panel and a Gen 2. You know, my hope, my hope for LG would have been that we 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 put the C4 and made it great again. Not to say that it's not great because there's some nice looking perks here. They have talked about it being brighter. Um, they talked about processing. The 144 hertz is definitely going to put it in a great space to be a great gaming TV. In 2022, C2 was my favorite OLED from a gaming perspective out of all of the other ones. It was the one that I used the most, and uh, now it resides with my eight-year-old son. Um, we'll probably be soon changing that out to probably S90C, the 55-inch I got. I'll probably play musical chairs and move him that. That's neither here or there, but um, I think the C, C model always did a really good job as being a staple for a great value gaming TV, okay? And I think that still holds the same here too. I'm really interested in trying 144 hertz on the LG uh, TVs just to see how smooth, how fluid it is, especially if everything is still locked in with G-Sync functionality and such. Um, I, I feel like, you know, the TVs just did variable refresh rates the best. So the fact that they're taking it up a notch, 144 hertz, and if it's as fluid as it's supposed to be, I'm telling you, they're making the right small decisions, right, to get you going there. And again, me not being one that I bought an OLED last year from LG, but it wasn't a 23 model. This does kind of, you know, give me the itch a little bit to scratch. I might consider. But uh, moving right along to the G4 and the M4, the M4 obviously going to be the model that does give you the wireless uh, box, kind of like a One Connect box, you know. I think it's pretty remarkable considering that this TV has 144 hertz, that it has MLA, and that it's available all the way up to 83 inch and as low as 55 inch. Well, excuse me, you're getting MLA or, or 144 hertz with 55 to 83 inch, but this TV is available all the way to 97 inch. It's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so there's a variety there, but I think really the crown holder is going to be the G4. That's going to be the one that everybody's going to be looking at. And now you can get an 83 inch G4 with micro lens array. I think that's going to be really nice. Now they're saying that there's not going to be a ton of brightness increase over the G3. But again, you're talking about an 83 inch. So comparing 77 to 77 might not be a big thing, but now getting that large masterful 83 inch is going to be pretty nice. Um, to see that as an option. Again, 144 hertz still there. Still going to be great. Now, got that new Alpha 11 processor. So I'm interested in seeing how that works. Now, the thing that, that excites me a little bit about the Chromecast is because 
I am, um, you know, I, I, I did invest into the, the Oculus VR platform. And so having a Chromecast built in is pretty nice from that space, just because the way that, you know, we utilize VR. I have the A95L, 77 inch. 77 is a big enough size for me right now. And so that's a nice feature having it built in where I could just, you know, be using the VR or the kids can use the VR and I could just kind of cast on the TV, whatever it is that, you know what I'm saying, the gamer is seeing so that it turns it more into a family event. I think it's nice that LG has opened up the WebOS to have that integrated in. Um, to be a feature of the Chromecast I'm talking about. So some pretty interesting things there. I want to know what you guys think. All right, so from a pricing perspective, I believe that we'll probably be seeing kind of an apples to apples. Every year, I think LG does a pretty remarkable job of uh, you know placeholding whatever the last year's prices were. Um, I know that this technology gets a little bit cheaper every time they go over to the next year, the year after. So we might even see a little bit more reductions. Um, what I found over the last few years is what's happening is we'll end up seeing sales, drastic sales, a lot sooner than than later. And uh, typically Black Friday prices, they're always going to start around like October. Uh, there's there's no longer just like that one time of the year when you can buy stuff and it's marked down. So if these TVs hit, I don't know, like let's say March, April, May-ish, I don't know when they'll be. Um, I think we'll probably start seeing some pretty decent uh, sales right in the center of that that summertime. Of course, we're going to have everybody coming out with their stuff. Probably going to be Samsung first. You know, it seems like they like to hit the gate first. So I'd be interested in seeing what they got. But I wanted to just kind of make this content specific to LG. Um, I'm impressed with the lineup. Like I said, in all totality, I think it's a great lineup. I like what they did with the B. Um, four, given the B4, four HDMI 2.1 ports, you know, uh, giving it 120 hertz, obviously it's always had that, but getting the four ports makes it nice for the variety. Um, you do get the older processor there and, um, you know, having it now available in a 48 inch is pretty awesome. I think it's going to be a good option for gamers looking for the more affordable option. The C4, Again, getting an increase in brightness. I'm just trying to squeeze a little bit more out of that default panel, not giving it micro lens array. They're trying to segregate what the C and the G is. Obviously, um, it's going to come with the base. And so, you know, that's going to be a conventional TV. It's 144 hertz now. So people like myself who predominantly game on PC will be impressed with it. I need to, to, to make sure that they still have got the handshake with NVIDIA making sure that, you know, saying the G-Sync works great. Um, it'll probably be the TV that I will end up buying to review. Uh, for the sake of uh, reviewing, I might get the TV in 55-inch. I'm going to play the game this year a little bit different. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to intend to play the game a little bit like everybody else so that I can be on playing field and, and I can bring more content to you guys. So I'm interested in trying that TV out. But that G4, man, listen, to me, I really feel like, you know, that TV would only be interesting to me if, I got it in 83 inch and I don't know. We'll have to see. You guys know I had some issues with my 77 inch S95C, which I'm in front of. Um, have some intermittent blackout issues with this. Try different cables, all of that stuff. But I wanted to wait for this year to, you know, look into getting it serviced and see how that goes. Who knows? I might have an 83 inch G4 coming into my life. I don't know, man. I don't know, but I'm really excited. I'm more excited to start the new year off getting with you guys. As I said, um, you know, we're going to be at CES. We're going to have more content coming. We're going to have preparation content. We're going to have vlog content. We're going to have content at the event, the venue, different types of of uh, booths that I'll be um, going to be in attendance of. And I'm looking forward to bringing that content to you. So if you want to support the channel, please do consider subscribing, hitting a like on this video, sharing this video, leaving comments. Let's have some engagement. Let's start this year off right. Get a couple thousand views on this video. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless. And as always, say, man, Max Love.